the crowd. Drawn out project management processes. There are 47 processes in the fifth edition of the Pinbok. Here is an explanation of one of them. Identifying stakeholders. Let's start with the inputs. Now, there's four inputs, one being your project charter. Project charter is what kicks it off, what starts your project, and probably would list some of your key project stakeholders. Also, if you're using suppliers or vendors or other people, even consultants, they hold some stake in your project because they want the successor or, or to avoid the failure. So be careful with documents, as well as your company culture, your things like that, your what we call enterprise environmental factors. And fourthly, there are your organizational process assets, so documents, templates, things like that that would help you conduct the identified stakeholders process. Now, some of the tools and techniques that we use to identify our stakeholders, well, you think about anywhere that the stakeholders may come from, and we analyze the various stakeholders. Like where would they be? Why would they be? You know, even our team, the project manager, there's various different stakeholders, and we analyze what are their needs or expectations, and that information starts to come through. So a lot of that, too, comes just from expert judgment, the stuff we think about, or we know, or people who have worked on similar projects, and a lot of it comes out in meetings, lots and lots of meetings of ways to document, and really, we can identify stakeholders any time throughout the project. Does it not mean just in the beginning, even though we say it's an initiation process? Now, the output, pretty simple. It's like a list of all the stakeholders we've identified, and we call that the stakeholder register.